Every year for my husband's birthday, I go out and I buy him a birthday cake. Put the candles in, the whole nine yards, he's happy, everything's wonderful. But this particular year, he told me that he wanted a homemade cake. And I said, well, how's that going to happen? I don't bake. <laughs> and he said, it's no problem. I'll bake my own cake. I said, well, that's really bad. You baking your own birthday cake. He said, I don't really, I don't mind. I don't care. I, I, I want this certain cake and I'm happy to bake it. Okay, great, because here's your present. And it was a spring form pan, the certain pan that you use to bake certain cakes. I'm, okay, <laughs> that's great. Have at it. I'm going to go see Stephen at the blow dry bar and I'll be back and we can have some cake. And he was happy. It was a clam and everything worked out great. Now, did I take advantage of the situation? Absolutely. But I have license. We have been married for 20 years. And I'm sure that he has taken advantage of situations in the past. Oh, I can't think of any. Anyway, where am I going with this? And what does this have to do with anything? I got a comment from a viewer and she asked me, how do I know if I can trust someone early on? How do I know if they're going to take advantage of me or not? When I first started dating my husband, he asked me questions. I mean, it wasn't an interrogation thing or anything. He seemed to genuinely want to get to know me, to find out what makes me tick. I had had dates in the past where I was watching this running monologue. The whole conversation was peppered with I, 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 this, I, that. And I'm like, okay, where do I come in? I'm like just sitting there. So it was so refreshing when I met my husband and he, he cared. He seemed to care. I mean, of course he didn't know me well enough at that point, but that's the point. He wanted to get to know me. And it could have gone south after that night. I mean, I'm not saying that if someone seems to be wonderful that first night, that it's going to be your lifelong partner, not at all. But if this kind of behavior continues and you really see that they have your back and they call you up to talk to you, to want to, they want to spend time with you. They don't call you just to find out what you can do for them. Oh, can I have a favor? Or can you do this? Can you do that? Or all they do is yak, yak, yak and tell you about their problems and, and then they never listen to you. But if they seem to listen, if you have a concern and they drop everything and say, okay, I, I want to I wanna help you. Even if they can't, they're just listening. The point is they care. And that's how my husband was. And he still is to this day. So how do you find this person? You keep going on these dates and you keep looking for someone who looks at you like, wow, they put you on a pedestal and it may take time. Cause I get this question a lot. Well, I'm, I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of all these people that are terrible. I mean, I know I was too, I get it, but remember it only takes one. They are out there. You have to weed through all the others to find this person. Don't give up. They're out there. And my point is, if this person seems to want to get to know you, doesn't ever talk behind your back and doesn't talk behind anyone else's back, and you never hear them gossip about anyone, or oh, a little is okay, but you know what I mean. They're not sitting there cutting anyone down or constantly saying how awful this person is or that person and just all the negativity. Then over time, you can trust this person and get to know them. And you need to see what, how they tick as well. You need to want to get to know them. It's a two way street. So you're developing this camaraderie and then you're going to know, and it's not going to be like this lightning bulb moment one time. Oh, I can trust this person. I know I can't No, It's just over time it develops. And again, I'm broken record, but don't reveal too much too soon because you really don't know. But give it time. Keep looking at how this person reacts to other people and to you. And then, and only then, can you really figure out, okay, yeah, I can trust someone. I can trust this person. So don't give up. They're out there. Just keep looking. <laughs>